Business intelligence consists of the strategies and technologies used by the enterprises for the data analysis of business information. With the help of BI tools, you can make critical decisions for your businesses. And one such tool is Looker. So in this video, we will cover everything that you want to know to get started with Looker. So hi all, this is Arvind from MindMagix. And in this video, we're going to discuss everything about Looker. OK, so let's quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. OK, so as you can see on the screen, these are the topics that we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we will start with what exactly is Looker. Then we will have a look at the features of Looker. After that, we will see what exactly does Looker architecture means. And then we will discuss what are the building blocks of Looker. After that, we will have a look at the various applications of Looker. And finally, we will conclude this session by having a look at the various certifications which are related to Looker. OK, so I hope everyone is clear with the agenda. So before moving ahead, I want you guys to subscribe to MindMagix YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let's get started. OK, so the first topic is what exactly is Looker? So Looker is a cloud based business intelligence tool that helps you explore, share and visualize your company's data so that you can make better business decisions. So Looker is now a part of the Google Cloud Platform. It allows anyone in your business to analyze and find insights into your data sets quickly. So Looker makes it incredibly easy to build a data exploration platform that makes your data accessible in a meaningful, intuitive way for your entire organization. So Looker uses data modeling language, which is DML, and it includes a predefined framework. With Looker, you can analyze data in a very efficient and helpful manner. You can easily connect to multiple data sources and you can build customized dashboards, KPI dashboards and so on. So Looker helps you lay the foundation for building a data strategy to suit your specific needs. With Looker at the center of your data strategy, you can go beyond standard reporting. So right from dashboards to reporting, Looker is your one stop solution for business intelligence, analytics, visualization and data management. So I hope you now have an idea of what exactly is Looker. And now let's move to the next part. So here we are going to discuss the features of Looker. So the first feature here is break down barriers to insights. So you can derive the insights that you need by filtering to granular slices of data in a few clicks from your favorite dashboard. Also, you can introduce data into every conversation with the ability to find the answers that you need on the fly right within the Slack. The next point over here is increased performance and optimized costs. So with Looker, you get more from your data infrastructure investments with the new features designed to improve performance, optimize costs and helps you manage enterprise scale deployments in a far better way. And the third point over here is building better data products and that too in a faster way. So you can also unlock new types of data experiences and accelerate development workflows with pre-built UI components. So Looker improves your product's competitive advantage and drives new revenue growth at a reduced development cost. So these were some of the features of Looker. And now let's move ahead. OK, so the next point of discussion is the Looker architecture. OK, so as you can see on the screen, this is the diagram that you must understand as far as Looker architecture is concerned. So the architecture design of Looker consists of a Linux server. OK, so as you can see here and you must understand that hosting the Looker application is independent of where your data resides. So data always remains in the database and it is not copied to the Looker instance. You must understand that the minimum requirements of the server specifications on the installation steps as well as the recommended Java memory to allocate Looker. In addition, the Looker application requires outbound network access for authorization, backups, email relay, Git and license checks. By default, the Looker uses a hyper SQL in memory database as the application's internal database. In busy instances, this database can grow to be in gigabytes in size, which can sometimes lead to performance issues. So for these large deployments, customers should replace the HyperSQL database with a MySQL database at the backend. So I hope 
now you have an idea about the looker architecture okay so these are the building blocks or you can say the components of looker architecture as you can see over here looker internal database and then you have the linux server and then you have analytics database and then this is the common wall you can say the corporate firewall between the left part and the right part and in this section the right section you have get ping license server and the user clients so that was all about the looker architecture and now let's move ahead okay so the next point of discussion is the looker blocks so as you can see on the screen these are the various blocks that are associated with looker so analytics blocks source blocks data blocks data tools blocks visualization blocks or you can say wish blocks and then the embedded blocks okay so looker blocks are the building blocks which is nothing but pre-built pieces of code that you can leverage to accelerate your analytics from optimized sql patterns to fully built out data models custom visualizations to weather and demographic data you can explore all the looker blocks as the starting point for quick and flexible analytics in looker so this was all about the looker blocks and now let's move ahead and discuss the various applications that looker has to offer us okay so most commonly you will find the applications of looker in sales analytics okay so as you can see over here this is the dashboard you can say which is related to sales leadership or you can say the sales analytics okay so you can organize account leads contacts and opportunities quickly right out of the box you can handle every step of your sales with governed and customized workflows you can combine data from different systems to obtain meaningful insights that can benefit your stakeholders apart from this looker also helps you maximize retention as well as upsell and at the same time it minimizes the churning the next application of looker is into digital marketing analytics so in digital marketing analytics you can customize powerful reports around components such as google ads facebook ads and so on as you can see guys this is the dashboard which is related to google ads campaign okay and with looker you can grasp ad spend across different mediums with a unified dashboard that is cross channel you can make informed bid changes that too on the spot that are related to updates of active ad performances and the third application of looker is into web analytics so this is another dashboard which is related to web analytics and you can support your teams by providing access to trusted data from google analytics that is shareable you can also dig deeper into your website with cross property analysis create schedules dynamic cohorts and so on so through a single point of truth you can sharpen visibility into sales and marketing as well so this was all about the web analytics now the next part of discussion is the various certifications related to looker okay so for those guys who are looking for a career in business intelligence and you can consider looker as a very good option to get started okay so as you can see on the screen these are the two certifications that you can target for looker the first one is the looker ml developer and the second one is the looker business analyst so now what is the advantage of having a looker certification so with certification you can become an expert within the data community next you can show your potential with looker knowledge and you can add these skills into your resume by clearing the certification exam okay and there's one more point that i would like to highlight over here so if you have any of this certification so you can show them on your various platforms such as linkedin and github okay so on github you can show the projects that you have worked related to looker okay so the advantage of having this certification is that you will get an edge in the interviews okay so suppose there are two guys one who just has knowledge of looker and the other guy who has certification as well as projects related to looker so certainly the guy who has certification and projects so he will get an edge over the other candidate so this is the biggest advantage of having looker certifications so if you talk about the first certification which is the looker or you can say the look ml developer so this exam covers topics such as look ml code development maintenance troubleshooting caching policies and data modeling best practices 
So this exam expects that you're at least comfortable with SQL and have at least six months of experience with the skills before you register for this certification. And the second certification is the Looker Business Analyst. So with this exam, you can learn about report development in Looker, visualization of data and best practices of the dashboard. So it is recommended to have at least six plus months of experience with this skill to clear this certification exam. OK, so with this, we have come to the end of this session on Looker tutorial for beginners. OK, so I hope we have covered enough of the points that can help you get started with Looker. If you have any queries related to this session, then you can write your queries in the comments box and I will help you with solving all your queries and doubts. Okay, so that's all from this session and thank you so much for being with us.